step two? Yeah. What was step one is put popcorn in. Step two is tape the egg shut. Step three, we're gonna tape the spoons on. So let's all start with step one together. This is an adaptive art class, so it's technically called Visual Communications too. And I'm a um, student helper, so there are some students with uh, special needs or disabilities, and then me and Gloria who like to help out. There's one spot right there. Perfect. Originally I thought I was going to be going to school for art, um, but as I got into my junior year I sort of decided that I wanted to go into education instead. Um, so I took this class sort of as a mix between education and art to see kind of how I liked it and totally just fell in love with it. A lot of kids and adults, you know, don't get that exposure to art in, you know, a setting that they're not going to be judged for what they're doing. They're not really getting a grade on how it looks. They're getting a grade on are they trying. And we give them leeway to, you know, if they don't want to do that exact thing to their project, they can go their own way with it, you know. And so it really gives them a way to, like, expand their creative horizons and for them to feel confident that they can create things. There you go. I was say, I think you had it best the first I time. Now, is it all done? No. You see a little sneaky part? Yeah. Why don't you plug that up? Okay. So many of these kids are used to the, you know, stick a coloring book in front of them, waste five minutes, like, you know, just keep busy for a little while. And to be involved in something where they're allowed to make choices, you know, I can choose what color paint I want, I can choose how big I want to make this, you know, those choices, I think, not only improve them you know, they're thinking artistically, but all around probably, I, I feel like in a lot of other subjects, it helps them with their decision making. And just like, that's exactly what art did for me. You know, it helped me, you know, learn how to manage time, you know, it helped me with that stuff. You know, in this class, they get other skills from it too. Now, now close it, do you want to model it? Yeah. All right, ready? Do not eat it, it'll be okay. Okay. Right. Cause it's not cooked. We're gonna scoop it in one half. And we're gonna close the empty half That's on top. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Your turn. I get to this. You learn like patience for sure, and how to treat people with respect, even though they're different, and how to um, interact with someone who doesn't always get your uh, what you're saying. I've built friendships. I sit with the kids every day at lunch now. Like I just. Socially, it has helped me so much, and then it's also given me the confidence to go into special education as a career, knowing that I am passionate about it and have, you know, I think the basic skills that I need to go into it. So I have AP exams next week, and I'm not going to be able to come um, for the beginning, and I'm going to miss it. Like I, and today I could have left before, um, like after one of my tests, and um, I came because I was like I would actually rather be here than at home. Um, because it's just fun, the, uh, the relationships you form with the students. Elsa, please, I know you're in there. Yikes! People Yikes. are asking where oh. you've been. I don't judge people based on their actions now, you know, even in a gen ed classroom, because you just don't know what's going on. And so I think for me, it's definitely opened me up mentally to just be accepting of everyone, you know, around me, to assume the best in everyone and assume that, you know, even if they're having a bad day they're trying their best you know even if this is happening like they're trying to improve and whether it's hap you know like the improvement happens slowly but like as we're coming to the end of the year I can see how much these kids have already grown so it's just like you you learn patience but you also just learn how to be accepting of other people you know anyone right there yeah, oh, I, this is my favorite class for sure. <laughs> no question. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I just, it's like relaxing in the way that you, like, there's no deadlines and there's no um, tests or anything, but it's also like, um, it's like making friends every day. It's like friendship class, only with crafts. It's like, um, I, like, I can't explain the love that I have for the kids, and it, it's amazing. Hi, Bob. I tell myself all the time that I do this because I love it and you know I'm helping these kids but they've helped me with my anxiety and my depression just as much even though they don't realize it so you know they've brought me out of my shell and you know been able to help me 
you know, be accepting of my flaws because, you know, these kids, they work so hard, you know, and they, they try really, really hard just to fit in and, you know, it's like why you don't need to fit in. You can just be you.